This is what I take when I'm going on a big trip with a lot of people. It's my own first aid kit. And as you can see, it's pretty extensive. I can deal with a lot of problems for a lot of people. But boy, is that big. And boy, does it weigh a lot. There's no way I could take that on the plane with me. So what do I do when I need to travel a little more light but need the same kind of capabilities? <laughs> Hillel Nori's Emergency Travel Kit. This is an amazing little thing. It's the Maxpedition First Aid Kit. I think it's called the FR1. And you would not believe what I can fit into just this small little package. Let's take it apart and see what's inside. Boom! Look at how great that is. Nice and organized, pockets, places to put all these things, places to keep everything. It zips open like this so it holds open and you can really work with it anywhere. Here's what I take with me and here's what you need to be prepared on the road. First of all, coffee. You gotta have Starbucks via coffee. Eyeglasses cloth, some duct tape that I wrapped around an old hotel key, and a pencil. Over on this side, I have a nail clipper. Boy, you really need a nail clipper. I also have some Neosporin to go, Neo to go. You can take that on the plane and it won't pop open in the tube. And I have a little bit of chapstick. Also, I have a one cell flashlight. It's the small stream light, micro stream, fantastic flashlight. Works on AAA batteries. I have a little bit of paracord. I have an extra small little flashlight, just in case, or so I can lend one to somebody else if we need it, because I travel with my family. <clears throat> and I have a little keychain with a bunch of little tools, a compass, a whistle, a pill fob with some medicines which me and my family need. Then I have my first aid stuff. All of this side is first aid. And I'll tell you, it's not just band-aids. I could deal with just about anything. And my philosophy is, I want to be able to deal anywhere with one very serious injury. And to be able to help out on a day-to-day -day basis with small little irritations and first aid needs. And so here's what I have. Let's set this aside for a minute. First of all, I have a tweezers. Splinters, serious splinters, ticks, anything like that. Also, moleskin. Boy, nothing is worse than having a blister on your foot. And I have a lot of moleskin, not just a small little piece. I have quick clot sport. This will stop pretty much any bleeding on a very serious wound. It's not a permanent solution, but boy, it works good. I also have one surgical dressing, some steris strips in place of sutures, and a couple of small tampons, both as tampons, and of course to soak up blood. Remember, I travel with my family, and that includes two females. I have a whole bunch of band-aids. And all of this is pads, gauze. Because if you really had a serious injury, you would need something like all of this to take care of it. That's a lot of capability right there. Also, I have one of these. All of that. Now here I also have a little bit of um, uh, wound care and burn care in case there's a serious wound or surface wound or a burn. Okay. Now it's not all about first aid when you travel. It's also about feeling good on the road. One pad, earlier mentioned. Earplugs, that really helps when you're on the road. And earbuds, because my kids are always forgetting their earbuds. Abba, do you have earbuds? Yes, I do. Two wet fire fire starters. That's right. You might actually have to start a fire if you're cold, if you got on the side of the road, you're not always on the airplane. You might actually have to start a fire to survive, and these will light even in the rain. 
I have two extra batteries and a small sewing kit. Advil, Tylenol, Motrin. Origel. I'm prepared for a dental emergency, and you should be too. Some more extra pills. Pepto-Bismol, more dental care, a small little syringe, and Imodium. A few other things just to take care. You really don't want an upset stomach or diarrhea when you're on the road. And lastly, Alka-Seltzer Plus Cold. This stuff will get you through just about anything. And there it is. That is an incredible amount of capability in a small little place. And you can take it on any airplane and you can use it for almost any emergency anywhere. I've traveled with this pack for many, many years and it's grown over the course of years. I'd welcome your recommendations for what to put inside. When you're out there on the road, be careful and have a great adventure. Bye.